Okay, well, let's keep going and see if we can get to that magic hundred number. That would be kind of nice. Um, you know, it really irritates me when these guys are cutting. I'm, I'm really tempted to connect this road up and just put some houses in there so that they can't cut, it, cut the corner. But, uh, I, no, I don't think. I don't think I'll do that. All right, wh like, what do I need to do next? Let's get to get down to brass tacks. Okay. I'm just looking at the forest nodes. The forest nodes are all looking good. We could probably do with a couple of more houses. Now, ah, that's an idea. I was going to check, wasn't I, to see if I could get to I bet I can't. I will bet you there's no way in hell I'll get two houses. I don't know, you know. Oh, well, look at that. Boom, boom. Uh, am I going to let them build those? You know, I think I am. Because um, there's kind of no downside to it. I'm really tempted to put. Um, yeah, you know what? Ah, can I can I get houses on this side? Oh, you know I can get another row of houses along the back of there as well, which is no bad thing. So I've got some houses for the miners and some houses for these guys down here. Ooh, yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Pretty tempting. Yeah, what the hell? I'm gonna bang another couple of houses in there. Yeah, another two in there. So that's another four houses. Well, I mean that alone should um, crank us over the. Over, where are where are we up to? We're up to 94 now. How we doing? Yeah, we got. So we've got stone, we've got iron. Logs is the thing that's, um, you know, potentially like a little bit low. You know, we've got extra labourers. That's the... I'm going to crank these up to three. Because, uh, like, at least at the moment, while, while we're doing a, a fair amount of building, I think it's probably... Uh, not a bad idea, so we'll crank that up to 10. Okay, how are we doing with everything else? Um, the answer is pretty good. Look at the food! We topped 7,000 for a second there. And, we, and, and we've still got a lot of food production to go. I need to put that, um, that barn in and the houses. You know, I, I might just plan that out. Because... Something tells me that it, it's a bit fiddly in this corner, trying to get like the best layout. So, um, like, how on earth do I? Like nothing. Man, it's, it's kind of not easy down here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing kind of like obviously works, but uh, oh man, man, goodness me! What about let, let's try with the houses first? What like what works house-wise? And the answer is kind of not, like not a lot. It's very fiddly. Very, very fiddly. Yeah, that. Uh, this is kind of like the worst <laughs> for trying to put stuff in and, and getting it in in any kind of good shape. All right. Um, I'm just trying to. Kind of judge. Right, let me put that there. 
I, I'm trying to see if I can get like a row of houses in and, and use some of that space which is why I just moved that sort of back one but yeah that's see if I put those there I'm gonna pause these if if I do that then what's the situation in here because I want to get um, some houses in ah uh, yeah yep 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 okay let's um, pause those now the question is will they be yeah they will be able to get through there because there's Yeah, good. Okay, well that works. Man, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be a, like a bit of a nightmare. I thought I was going to be really struggling to fit those buildings in. But that's pretty sweet. Um, good job I put that extra score because we're up to 2020. And you guys are probably screaming at me going, You need another teacher! Okay, another teacher. see if that suddenly jumps up probably should yeah there's well, it's still still on 20 maybe the teacher hasn't got there yet or something I don't know I don't know but we're over a hundred guys look at that 61 20 21 we're up to 102 population and we are pretty much flying at this point. Again, probably tempting fate, but hey, what are you going to do? You've got to celebrate life's little victories. All right. Um, why the hell did I close that down? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. So we're, um, we're over 7,000 food. So food is still going up at this moment. Um... And we're at a hundred people. Like, okay, how much expansion? Well, okay, well we can double the gatherers. Um, we can more than double the fishermen by putting the extra nodes in. We can. How's our hunters? Um, we can't quite double the hunters. So we can pretty much like double our food production. Well, if we've got it 100 now, that would get us to 200. See, this is what I was saying about my calculations. I reckon a population of 2 to 250 we can support. So if we want to get 300, we're going to have to like stock up a load of food and then bang in some houses really quickly and see if we can just race the population up to 300 before we starve to death. Man, uh, we've got like uh, let me pause this for a second because we've got like a, a whole ton of man look at this up to 14 laborers well we better put some of these guys to work I think and I, I've closed that stupid thing down again haven't I God what's wrong with me Wow our population is it really is flying um, everything is looking very very good Firewood is up to the 1,000 limit, so I'm going to increase that again. Because... Firewood is an essential commodity. We need that. Uh, log, stone and iron, I'm going to keep at 500. That's okay. Tools and clothes, 200. Yeah, that's fine, for now. I'll probably... I will probably look at raising those limits at some point. Okay, let's um, let's reassign some people then. So, good lord, got more people than I know what to do with. Well, we can crank the gatherers up to twelve. That's a good. So we've got three in each. Um, bang! You let's just, let's max out the fishermen. We really need to get these other fishing nodes built then. Um, and the hunters... Uh, I mean, I guess I could pop in a couple of extra miners, a couple more stone cutters. Yeah, I think that's probably 
Okay, let's crank that up again. Yeah. Oh. That's very cool. Well, as long as we don't... And another one. So we're up to like five. Man. Uh, vendors. I've still got just the two vendors. But that, to be honest, is probably enough. And we've got... Yeah, we've got lots of everything. Lots of different varieties of food. As you can see, they're very healthy. Up for four and a half. Oh, one old age. Uh, they're happy. And you see, like we haven't put in any happiness stuff. No graveyards, churches, uh, taverns, nothing like that. And yet, and I've, I've closed it down again. What the hell's got into me? Tuh, jeez. Um, yeah, so... Man. I, I, you can probably sense from all the oh mans and stuff that like this is going like better than I expected <laughs> so what shall we do next guys um, let's see we've got six laborers so we can yeah, we've got people to allocate uh, we, we need jobs and we need to keep bumping up the population so I'm thinking let's get this, um, like either that fishing node or this fishing node, I'm kind of in two minds which. Um, you know what, I'm going to do this one first, just because it doesn't need the barn, so. <laughs> and then I think about it and I'm thinking, well, yeah, having an extra barn probably isn't a bad idea. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, I guess. I guess. All right. So, what 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 order will we do them in? Let's do the barn first, <clears throat> and I'll allocate another builder while we're doing this. All right. So, um, then I guess the houses. Yeah. Um, the reason that I'm just not like not just taking all of them off pause and say get on with it, guys, is because um, I don't want to run us down too low on stuff like that. Ah, oh, childbirth—that's always a nightmare. Madel, poor old Madel. Never mind. Plenty more where she came from. <laughs> oh man. Oh dear, I'm harsh. Oh, I wish I hadn't said that now. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Madel. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm losing it a bit. I think I'm going a little bit strange. Okay, let's uh, let's get that one going as well. So, that's a potential another four fishermen. So, that'll take us up to 12... So if I put one more fisherman in, that would be three in each. Right, what's that done to our stocks? It's taken our stone down a little bit, but it's all getting replenished, which is pretty darn good. Come on, pop in another stone cutter. Because, you know, that literally is um, the only thing that's stopping us from just, like, whacking tons of stuff in. I guess, I mean, I guess logs, again, to a, to a smaller degree. Because, um, I mean, I could, there are bits of forest that I could cut down. Like, up here. And so, you know, how many times do I do this when I, I say, oh, I could do this, and then I think... Um, yeah, that would be a really, really good idea. There's no reason not to, because they'll, they'll naturally grow from from here. You'll get natural growth. So, what the hell? Um, you don't cut them down with a forester's lodge. <laughs> so let's just let's take those trees. Get a few extra logs in store. Um, I'm just toying with the idea of putting like 
a little stockpile around here somewhere. Wouldn't necessarily be the worst idea. Mind you, I guess, I mean, they don't have far to go to this one. So... And, and taking it to this one is a good thing, because there's the two woodcutters, so... yeah. We're starting to get a bit of firewood going, we're up to 1200. Food's up to 11,000! That's racing along! That's beautiful, actually. That all helps us in our quest for Isolationist. I mean, Isolationist is it's still on the cards, guys. If I can possibly do it, I'm going to do it. Uh, herbs is okay. Tools and coats is good. I, I, you do, that's the one thing about this game. You do have to keep checking all of your numbers, like, all of the time. Okay, good. So that's bumped our logs up over, like, 350 now. Uh, stone's back up to two, over 250. Iron, a little bit on the low side. We've got some more labourers. I've, I've been ignoring the event log. Yeah, nothing's happened since poor old Madell died. Um, just an old age, but a couple more labourers. I mean, we're banging out the the, the the new students. What are we up to then? Um, so, what's that? Ninety-seven. Wow, we're flying. Let's crank up a couple more miners and another stone cutter. I mean, I could bang in some more, like, uh, gatherers, or... I mean, I want to max out gatherers, fishermen, and hunters, eventually. And there's another labourer, another berth. Still 97, isn't it? Is that 97? I've kind of lost track. Uh, what's 35? No, we've, no we're, we're over the 100, aren't we? Yeah. I'm really losing it now. I, th these numbers change too. I can't add them up. They're <laughs> changing too quickly. What's that? Um, what's that? 90 93... Uh, 93... 100, 108. 108 population. Wow! We are... It's like seriously racing along. Stone's up to 300. 200 iron. Okay, well, let's... Um, let's, let's crank the next thing up then. So... We'll crank those two guys up, and we'll crank this fishing dock up. You know, um, I guess my plan, like like as much of a of a plan as I've got, um, is is to get the population. I think we can get like stable population up to around the two hundred mark, right? And then, at that 200 mark, start um, seriously stockpiling. Like, huge stockpiling. And then, um, and then see if we can do the race up to 300. Um, let me know what you think about that idea. You know, if you, if you maybe got different ideas about how I should do it. But, yeah, drop me, like, drop me a comment. But, like, right now... Foods continue, like 13,000 now. I mean, at, at this point, I mean, tools and the clothes is still maxed, so we've got no problems there. We're still getting stone. We've only used like 50% of this quarry, and we've certainly got plenty of room to put in um, another quarry. I mean, we, there's, there's that space there for certain. But, I mean, we could slip one in, probably, next to this. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely an option. We could, so, so, we're going to have enough stone to build, like, all the houses and stuff we need to get up to 300. Um, we're going to need... We'll probably need another iron mine, but, I mean, there are places where we can put an iron mine. I mean, we'll probably get one in there, for example, uh, which isn't going to cause any problems to anyone. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere else that's kind of, sort of, sensible. 
But I mean, there there are places. Even if we encroach on the forest nodes a bit, so you know, bang in probably another. Um, another blacksmith, if I can remember the words. Still great. I mean, we're up to ten labourers. Man, I can't keep up with allocating these guys. Well, you know what? I'm going to crank the gatherers up to max, up to 16. Um, yeah. Fishermen. We've got four fishing nodes. So let's crank the fishermen up to 12. That means we've got um, three fishermen in each of the fishing nodes. So we're maxed gatherers. We've still got some room to go on the fishermen and the hunters. Our food's still going up. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty sure we're gonna be stable up to the certainly up to the two hundred population mark. Another tailor, maybe another um blacksmith. M mind you, th they're keeping up at the moment. I wonder how far they'll go, how much population they'll, they'll go up to. W like, one of you guys will probably, like, post me a comment and say, oh, well, yeah, if it's, uh, if it's working at maximum efficiency, it'll deal with X amount of population. I think it's sort of around about a hundred, like, just over a hundred or so per blacksmith, I think. One of you guys will probably tell me I'm wrong, and it's actually 150 or 200 or something. Um, but we're certainly, we've certainly got no issues at the moment. Well, so we've made the we've we're, we're over the 100 uh, population. Um, where are we? Um, so we're up to about 113 people now. And we're continuing to grow. I'm going to... We've got plenty of everything, so I'm going to crank up these extra two houses. A few old age deaths, but they're getting replaced. Up to five labourers again. Anything that I need to add? I, mean, I, I can put in more miners and stone cutters, but I think really... It's a case of um, just keep up in the uh, the food, but w we're going to run into issues with um, storage space. <laughs> is like my next guess. Uh, I'm seriously thinking about like putting maybe another barn in down here or something. My, well, I mean, I don't think we're going to be short of space for barns, but but I certainly could put extra barns in. Um, for the the forest nodes, which um, well maybe not down here. There's not a lot of room down here now. But how how are our barns doing? We've got like sixteen thousand. How full are our barns? It's like thirty three percent. That's fifty percent. That's full. Damn. That's only thirty percent full. Man. Okay. Yeah, all right. We could use. I'm guessing the, the the gatherers are going to this barn. From from this node, maybe rather than this one. That one may be like a fraction closer or something. Shouldn't be really. I guess it de it just depends how they path. Um. Hmm. Yeah, like adding extra vendors isn't going to help. Man, what, uh, like what on earth can I do to like help that? I guess I could put another one like up here so that they could go up here. Where's um That's the gatherer. Let's pit let's pin him for a second. We'll pin him for a s Ah in that for a second yeah I'm thinking yeah if I can put a barn up here I'm gonna put a barn in oh yes 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 yes
Boom. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay, so barn there. Where where else did I say? Um, I could put a barn there. That works out well. Uh, got that one there. That one there. Okay, so with those two extra, I would imagine we've got room for like over thirty thousand food, uh, which I, you know, we'll kind of have to. Let's wait until we get a little bit bigger, get a little bit more food in, and we'll we'll keep an eye on those and see. But that's like permanently full. Damn. Um. Kind of, because otherwise we're like, there's nowhere else to put one. Well, I could put another one up here. I'm, I'm guessing there's enough room, room here. But, but we've got excess space in this one anyway, so it's kind of really not going to help the situation. That is just, that is just permanently full. See now, if we were trading then we could trade that venison three to one for other food and pff, I mean then we could support like a hey you know what oh you know what see if we get to 300 population and get isolationist then we could start trading and if we can trade then oh you know 400 population hey that could be possible. Let's just um, let's just check that achievement. The one I'm thinking of is one is one with the uh, one with nature. Reach 400 citizens without building crop fields, orchards, or pastures, which we haven't done so far. You know, if we get isolationist, we could do one with nature. How awesome would that be?